A new business has officially opened its doors along Whaley Avenue in New Haven. It's a tiny storefront, but it's a big sign that the area is about to boom with development. NBC Connecticut's Kevin Geis has the story from New Haven. And basically, we dropped the falafel. When I came to the U.S., I lived right down the street. I lived on Whaley Avenue most of my life. Eddie Ekow says though he was born in Israel's West Bank, he's New Haven through and through. This is my neighborhood, basically. A graduate of Wilbercross High, he's lived in New Haven since he was 10. His new storefront, Leah's Falafel House, bringing tastes of home to the Elm City. It's just something, I guess, I was cursed with, sure. you know? It's yeah. making good falafel. Yeah! City and business leaders joined Eckhouse Wednesday for an official ribbon cutting. They say, though small, Leah's is a signal of economic development on the Whaley Avenue corridor. We like to have a lot more personal mom-pop type businesses that uh, make it a very walkable district. Alan McCollum with the Whaley Avenue Special Services District says businesses like this are what they're trying to attract. The corridor is also part of a multi-million dollar rapid transit upgrade and seven million dollar 55 unit housing project. All signals officials say Whaley Avenue is on the upswing. Working with the city very hard to make sure that it's always safe, always clean and it's in a place that you all always want to come. That's basically the falafel. Back in Leah's, Eckhouse knows he's small, but he prefers it that way. That's why our menu is not that big, so we could be the best at what we do. And he plans to continue to offer the best long into the future. We'll keep serving you the best falafel we can. In New Haven, Kevin Geis, NBC Connecticut News.